Hello sisters, it is great to be with you in spirit today. Even though we can't be together physically, I'm glad that we have the technology to be able to still be able to communicate and be together in spirit. This is obviously not the ideal situation and honestly for me, I feel a little awkward talking to a video camera, but we, we uh, adapt to our times. So I hope you are all doing well. I've been thinking about you and praying for you and your families in this time. Um, hopefully we are staying connected to each other, um, but just want you to know that you are being thought of. Uh, I wanted to read just a few verses in John. You know, we've been studying Jesus for the past few months now, and I wanted to just pick a few verses um, of things he tells us that I think are especially applicable during this time. In John 14, verse 27, he says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. I mean, how applicable is that for us right now? In this time of uncertainty about what the coming weeks are going to bring, um, about when we'll be able to be back together, the fear of if we are going to get sick, and coronavirus aside, there are always things that we are going through in our lives that, that battle for our peace. And I do feel like as women, that is one thing we are continually trying to search for is peace. And Jesus says here, his peace he gives us. And this is the peace that when the raging storm on the ocean and on the sea was happening, Jesus could sleep through. When everybody else was in, in a, a you know frazzled state because they thought they were going to die, Jesus was sleeping. He was full of peace and he calmed the storms and the seas without even his stress level rising. Um, that peace, that same peace is what Jesus is talking about giving to us and leaving us through the spirit. He doesn't want to give us as the world gives us. He wants to give us something so much better, something that through the storms and through the trials, we can be and rest secure. You know, the, as we read further in chapter 15, in verse 4, he says, Remain in me as I also remain in you. I think that's the way for us to find peace, is to remain in Jesus, to, to stay close and connected to him, to, to understand how he was connected to the Father and how we can connect to the Father through him. And, and by staying connected to him, we can have access to his peace, to his love, to his, um, to his will. You know, in chapter 16, after he's telling the disciples, this is all that he's telling them is he's preparing them for his departure. He's telling them that he's going to leave, but he's going to give us his peace, that we need to remain in him even when he's not physically present with us, that he talks about giving us the spirit, that the spirit is going to be even more important in our lives than him physically being there, because that means a piece of him lives with us and in us all the time, no matter where we go. So he finishes saying these things in verse 33, John 16. He says, I have told you all these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. So it all comes back to his peace that he wants to give us. And he gives us this peace even in the midst of troubles and trials and uncertainties and the unknown. He gives it to us and he says that we can take heart when we're going through those things because he is overcome, because we are his and he has all authority. 
He has all power over everything. So when we remain in him, we can find peace and refuge knowing that he's in control, that he will calm the storms and the waves, that, that the right here and the right now, there's always a bigger picture. That's what we can find in Jesus. So I hope that in this time, whether it is this, this anxiety that we can feel with, with the rising numbers of the coronavirus or whatever trials you're going through personally in your life, maybe it's your personal health. Maybe you've battled with chronic health for a while and you don't find any peace. Uh, maybe it is your, your children and the struggles that your children are going through or you know, like I said, there can be so many different things. Um, all of these trials, Jesus wants us to remain in him, to focus on him and let remaining in him be the thing that gives us peace. And it's something that the world cannot give us. No matter where we turn, we cannot find true peace besides in Jesus. So I encourage you to fix your eyes on Jesus in this time, to read the Gospels if you don't know where to start. In this time where some of the distraction and the busyness, the being able to go out of our house at least, has been taken away from us, let us make sure that we stay focused on the things that really matter. To not focus on the world and what the world gives, to focus on remaining in Jesus and in there finding true peace. I love you all. Um, I can't wait to actually see you in person, hopefully sometime soon. But while we are apart, I do pray that we can encourage one another and help each other remain in Jesus and remain in his peace. I love you. I will see you later.